Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. I just got done seeing Halloween Kills, uh, the second movie in Universal and Blumhouse's new trilogy of Halloween movies. Uh, I just saw it with some friends, had a really good time with it. Um, and I gotta say, uh, there have been a lot of mixed reviews on this movie. Um, I only watched one actual like video review of it. It's on the channel The Real Rejects. I'm a big fan of them. And um, if you've seen that review, I kind of have the same opinion of this movie that they did. Um, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I'm not trying to, like, disappoint anybody. It was good. Don't get me wrong, it was good. But knowing going into this that there is another movie afterwards, knowing that this is going to be uh, the middle act of this trilogy, um, I kind of expected this to happen, but I feel... <laughs> like I said, slightly underwhelmed. Now, um, I have quite a few things I need to say about this movie. Um, I will do a spoiler talk at the end of the video as usual, so don't worry about spoilers until, you know, I say I'm going to, you know, talk spoilers. You can leave the video. Um, but for now, no spoilers. Th my biggest gripe with this movie, um, the last one... I like the last one a lot more. I'm just going to say that right now. Like, I don't even need to think about it. As soon as this one ended, I'm like, all right. I like the last one a lot more than this one. Um, and that one also had some, you know, overall positive reviews, but it also had some, you know, major uh, uh, <laughs> mixed opinions concerning the the, the Dr. Sartain character. Um, I think that's how you say his name. Um, but that one, to me, was a much... Well, more well-crafted movie. Obviously, this is the same people making this one. David Gordon Green directing, Danny McBride writing, John Carpenter doing the music, which was killer, by the way. Um, gotta say, the title sequence of this movie, the opening titles, were amazing. I loved, oh, I loved that. Honestly, that might be my favorite part of the movie. I'm not trying to say the movie sucks or anything, but, like, that was so cool. Um, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, my biggest gripe with this movie was how characters characters did things very stupidly. So like this happens in horror movies. People, you know, people will they'll drop their weapon, they'll run the run the wrong way. You know what I mean? They'll make stupid decisions in the moment, you know. But in this one, man, it was like so many times I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Like <laughs> um wow. Um and people when they have a chance to slight, you know, kind of fight back against Michael Myers, they they drop the ball completely, and there's one specific one I can't talk about till spoilers, but, like, man, that frustrated me so much. People, like, if I was in that situation, I would be like, you gotta, you know, do this, do this. Obviously, you know, if you're being chased by a killer, it's hard to think straight, but, you know. Man, there were so many times this movie, I just rolled my eyes. I was like, man, you all are, <laughs> you all, they all deserve to get killed because, <laughs> um, man. But uh, I gotta say, the movie also struck me with one major thing it's this movie's trying to get a message across and once you watch it you'll know what i'm talking about and it gives the title of the movie like a double meaning now that now that i realize um but yeah uh, i don't know like it's because it's the middle act if the third movie is really good and it wraps up everything very well then i might like this movie more but uh <laughs> it's just man and there were a lot of great characters in this. What I like, too, about this one and the last one particularly, like, there's all these, like, little, like, little bit characters, you know, that live in the in the Haddonfield area that have little moments, you know, and then end up getting killed. But, you know, I love that. There was a lot of great, like, minor characters in this, which was really funny. Um, yeah. Uh, you can definitely see the Danny McBride, you know, writing showing there. But, uh... Yeah, um, there are a lot of great new characters, a lot of old returning characters, too. So they showed this in the trailer. There's a lot of returning characters from the original film, and not all the same actors played them. I know Tommy was played by um, uh, Anthony Michael Hall from The Breakfast Club and all those movies. They didn't get the original actor to play him. But I thought that guy did a great job as Tommy. I love the character. Um, and all the other returning characters, uh, I believe, were all the original actors. Aside from uh, Sheriff Brackett, I don't think that's the same actor. But, yeah, um, I liked seeing that. That was cool. And there's a lot of also interesting things we see um, concerning the original Halloween film, which I won't talk too much about, but I like that stuff too. And there was, there's something about that I really want to talk about in the spoilers, but I can't say right now. 
it just took me by complete surprise. I was not expecting. <laughs> I was like, you got to be kidding me. Um, but yeah, this movie. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis was good, of course. You know, Andy um, Matichak, I don't know how you say her name, um, as the granddaughter was, was really good, obviously. Judy Greer as the daughter was good. Everybody was good. All the acting was fine. It's just <sighs> a lot of character decisions just really irked me and the ending it's not a bad ending per se but it's just like man <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's just I'm disappointed but I'm not disappointed at the same time let's just say that and I will say I got to give credit where credit's due the kills were excellent you know um the actor that plays Michael Myers um uh uh James Jude Courtney that's his name excellent just like last time really good Really good guy to play Michael. And by the way, um, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but Nick Castle, the original Michael Myers actor, he did a little one scene in the last one as Michael, the scene where Lori sees him for the first time and they make eye contact and then she shoots his reflection in the mirror or whatever, thinking it's him. That was Nick Castle in the previous movies. Now, in this one, in the credits, I noticed Nick Castle played him again. And I don't know which scene it would be, though. Like, I really don't. So if anybody has any ideas uh, of what that scene is, let me know in the comments. Um, obviously say spoilers because, you know, people are going to read it. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> this one's a mixed bag. Honestly, I don't even know what to rate it. I can't remember what I gave the last one. I might have gave it like an eight and a half probably or an eight, I feel like, if my memory serves. This one, I'm going to have to go like seven and a half. Now, like I said, if the third one, which comes out next October, if it's if it's a great follow-up to this, if it's a great ending, then I might like this movie more. And, you know, I've only seen it once, obviously, so, like, you know. Um, but on a first viewing, I'm going to go seven and a half, um, which, you know, I'm very generous with the reviews, you know. So some people, seven and a half is, like, a really high score. To me, that's, like, a, you know, like a lower, like a C, obviously, you know. To me, Cs are, you know, just average. Um... But yeah, um, I don't know. It was, <laughs> I don't know what to say. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Go see it. Definitely check it out. It's a great time. Um, yeah, great horror, great kills. But yeah, um, I think that might wrap it up for the non-spoiler section. So leave the video. You don't want to hear what I'm about to say. So let's talk spoilers. Now, the one huge thing I was talking about that really irked me was at the end when they all gather around Michael and they're going to, you know, kill him finally. So knowing that there's going to be another movie, I'm like wondering, how is he going to get out of this? Unless they're going to do like a twist where he actually does die and maybe somehow the evil goes into Allison or something. You know what I mean? Like, or it goes into Karen. Like maybe it's like a, you know, a weird thing with the house, you know, standing in that window. Because at the end she stares at, stares at the window and, you know. So I was like, how is he going to get out of this? They're definitely, there's no way. So they beat him up, and they're, like, really giving him, you know, <laughs> they're really giving it to him. And Allison, um, that's her name, or no, uh, Karen. Karen's the uh, Judy Greer, right? She stabs him, like, in the back of the, like, in the neck, sort of. I'm like, why don't you stab him in the head? Why don't you all crush his head into mashed potatoes? Like, seriously, that really irked me. Um, the fact that they could have finished him off right there, and they didn't do it. Now, I understand they need Michael to be in the next one, so I get it. But, like, ugh, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, obviously, the big twist ending is Karen gets killed, which is crazy. That's Laurie Strode's daughter, obviously. So, um, yeah, she's going to be out for blood. And that was another complaint I kind of had. Laurie Strode and Michael did not interact one bit in this whole movie. She was in the hospital the entire time, which, you know... Um, I get it. It's the middle act. You want to save the big finale for the ending and, uh, you know, the big showdown. And now she's really going to be pissed off. Her daughter got killed. Um, but yeah, man. Also, by the way, the flashback stuff. So what really surprised me that I mentioned earlier was that they actually put Dr. Loomis in this movie. I don't know who that actor was. I don't know if they use CGI or what, but they did a pretty good job with that. Um, I'm surprised they did that because obviously Donald Pleasance is no longer with us. And uh, I remember, like, in H2O, they got, like, a sound-alike voice. And then the last movie, they got a sound-alike voice, you know, for, like, the tape recordings or whatever. Um, but, man, that really surprised me. I was like, man, I can't believe they did that. That was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I need to, like, look up 
you know, who that actor was or whatever they did. Um, but yeah, the movie, like I said, Jesus. <laughs> um, and so many character moments, were, especially the scene where the nurse and the husband and wife or whatever, they're in the car. Oh, man, she was so stupid. Blowing out the windows and just making it easier for Michael to kill them. And then when the nurse chick gets thrown out the car, she disappears the entire time. And all of a sudden, she comes back shooting at Michael's, and she's, like, down the street, sort of. Like, what had happened? Like, I'm so confused by that scene. That scene really, like, <laughs> irked me. Um, but, yeah, like, tons of returning characters. And the surprise, too, he Michael actually killed a lot of those older characters. Like, he killed the nurse. He killed Tommy at the end, which was crazy. Um, Lindsay's alive, though, so that's cool. So I assume she'll be in the next one. But, uh, yeah, um, and Sheriff Brackett obviously got his throat slit which is nuts so um yeah um like i said i didn't hate the movie it was just such a mixed bag for me um like the good parts i thought were really good but the bad parts i thought were really bad so it's like this weird like yin and yang thing going on so uh yeah that's just how i feel guys if you agree with me tell me in the comments let me know what you thought on the movie um yeah i think that might be about it for halloween kills um but I'm still, I got hope. I'm going to definitely go see the third one, or the fourth one, technically, in this series, you know. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it all ends, you know. Um, any predictions? I assume they're they're going to definitively kill Michael, I'm pretty sure. Like, I know Halloween's a huge franchise, but, it, you know, they could obviously just reboot it if they ever need to. You know what I mean? Just do another reboot without Jamie Lee Lecher- You know what I mean? Um... But, yeah, I think he's definitively going to die. They're going to pull, like, an H2O where he definitively died at the end of that. But, of course, you know, Halloween Resurrection, bunch of bullshit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, I think he's definitely... I'm, Lori might die, too. I feel like she's the one who's going to do it. I mean, they're setting up Sheriff Hawkins to be the one to kind of do it, maybe. But we need Lori to, you know, obviously. Come on. She's got to be the one to do it. Um, man, I feel so bad for the daughter because... Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> now her mom's dead, too. It's crazy. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. I mean, I feel like this movie, I think Rotten Tomatoes had, like, a 58% or something like that, which is crazy. It's not that bad, but people are definitely <laughs> not so hot on this movie, um, I, it, it appears to be. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. That's about it for Halloween Kills, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.